Hi, Bobby. This is the door I bought from you guys, and I determined what the problem was. Um, first of all, the door, the water comes down the door, and the little sweep here is not big enough, and it doesn't push the water out away from the, the bottom of the door. And so I uh, kind of isolated to find out where the leak was coming from. I isolated the sides with these panels. And um, even with those panels on there, the door continued to leak. So what I had done in the previous video, you know, I sprayed water on the door. Water leaks down here, jumps over, and then wicks or with capillary action it it goes out to the ends and then what it did it was wicking up these uh, air seal strips and I could actually squeeze water out of them and so they were in the corner and it still leaked and so I took them off just to continue figuring out what was happening. And I could definitely squeeze water out from about a foot of those strips. And so they were actually adding to the capillary action when the water got to that corner. They acted like a sponge, which is what is inside there. And it just continued the water going up. So you can see that the sweep... It doesn't come out as far as some of the other doors that I've seen from your company and others. And uh, what happens is the water, this, this little seal right here, it's like a U-shape channel. And the water gets in there and it travels down and it gets to the end right there, which the end is just wood and it leaks inside the building and even this thing fills up with water but obviously it's not now because it hasn't been raining but um, you know I've done a quite a bit of research since all this water problem is happening I want to finish my building soon and that means I'm getting to the floor problem and so you know your this door, I don't believe, is very well designed with this rubber bumper gasket because watch this. The capillary action of the water, stand by. So we put a straw's worth of water. Um, let's just go right there. And technically the water would go down, which is supposed to. But if you... Take another straw worth of water as it, it would be as if it rained and hit. So what happens is the water gets into this crack right there and then it starts to run along this edge. Excuse me. It runs along this edge, fills up in there. And then it hits this wood, and then the, the water gets sucked up by that uh, gasket, the, the trim thing, this thing. That's just sponge. And then the, the water continues, goes and hits the wood, and then it goes inside my building. And that's true for this side as well. So I'm not quite sure how to solve that problem. I see on your instruction manual that I'm supposed to caulk this and caulk here. And you know that this door should last 20 years, you know, and, you know, a caulking, that is not the problem. I mean, that's not the solution to caulk this. Um, you know, caulking is going to fail. This is metal silicone whatever you use this is metal the water is still going to just bypass that because it's inside this rubber and it dumps out against the wood so the wood is the dam and the dam is not working so i hope this helps solve the problem and figure out what to do 
I'm not real happy yet with what's going on.